Today I'm going to try four self-heating hot pots. These meals are supposed to cook themselves just by adding water. They're supposed to heat up and cook themselves. Four different flavors today from the same brand. Yellow braised chicken rice, braised pork rice, shredded meat rice, and diced chicken rice. Let's start with diced chicken rice. This looks amazing to start with. The package I love a lot. Let's begin. Here we have a box with the hole on top so then the steam could leave when it's going to be cooking itself. Inside everything is packed very neatly and it does come with the rice water and it comes with the water that you put on top of the heating bag I'm assuming. This bag has rice in it. Then over here we have flavoring. It feels very liquidy. It feels like there are bits and pieces of stuff inside so probably I'm hoping that's chicken. There's something dry over here like a one big solid piece. The heating bag that we're supposed to pour the water over and a spoon and that's about it. Over here you see all the items that this box came with. I will begin building this box with putting the rice in first. I'm gonna put the rice in the middle section. Here we have the rice. Next I'm gonna unwrap whatever it is. I honestly do not know. Okay that's a break of something. I'll put that over here. It's like a vegetable cube. Next I'm opening up the chicken. You can already see that it comes with vegetables and stuff on the inside. I know what it is. On the picture over here they have a little miso soup in the corner that's what it is so it comes with rice with vegetables on the side and then they have a little miso soup okay this is crazy the concept of it just suddenly became much funner all the vegetables and meats all i'm hoping is it's not going to be way too spicy i am going to put some um, water on top of this now this is the rice water so i'll put this on top of my rice this is supposed to go to cover either that bag over here or it's supposed to cover potentially the soup over here what i'm thinking is I'm not gonna risk covering my food with this because it doesn't have any signs on it. I'll just pour my water over this. This is all filled. Now I'm going to put the heating bag inside, pour the water over the heating bag and then put this container quickly in. There goes the heating bag. Let's open this water. Okay, it goes all the way up to the line. I don't feel any heat yet, but the bag is inflaming very quickly. Okay, it is starting to hiss and bubble. You can see it's starting to boil and the steam is coming. And then we we'll cover this with the lid and we'll leave it cooking for 15 minutes. This container is incredibly hot. The first hot pot is ready and this one is diced chicken hot pot. Let's open this up and see if it's cooked. It has been 15 minutes. It has been a tiny bit over 15 minutes. And oh my God, this looks great look at that this honestly looks incredible i did not expect that the soup will look so good i did not expect that the rice will look so good and i did not think that the meat would look even as close to what it looks like the rice you can see puffed up a lot i'm honestly very excited to try this rice but it's already really soft this honestly looks great i'm shocked that you can just put the bag inside and it's gonna be cooking it for you this rice is great so soft so fluffy that's the little soup that it comes with tastes incredible these little spraying onions have very fresh taste i have not a single clue how they taste so fresh but this tastes incredibly well the next we have is our diced chicken this is quite a decent amount but still the amount of rice is a lot so i'm assuming the rice is supposed to fill you up rather than anything i'll grab some of it by itself and then try some with the rice after that it comes with some vegetables. It tastes like there might be some bamboo shoots inside. Yeah, some chili flakes. I don't know how it tastes chicken in here. This might be a fake like soy chicken. Maybe this is chicken. I'll try this. Okay, that was actually a mushroom that I just had. Let's put this all over the rice and have this in combination with the rice. But look at this close up. It looks beautiful, right? The chili flakes do give a bit of a hot flavor to it rather than spicy. It's just warm. So it's nice. Maybe I'm just hungry speaking, but this tastes amazing. And honestly, I do really like the soup on the side. It does feel like a balanced meal without being such i found chicken that definitely was not soy that definitely was a real chicken inside all of this in the combination is very good it does taste meaty it tastes warm it tastes spicy ish there's definitely some mushrooms in here some bamboo shoots in here very good meal honestly the next is self-heating rice braised pork flavor it does already look very different the build of it looks pretty different but it also comes with the soup on the side which is super good it comes with the same build. We have rice, we have rice water, and we have water for the bag potentially. There is a liquidy meat that's supposed to be a braised pork over here. We have a little bag with miso soup inside, a spoon, 
and a heating rug. This set over here comes with these items. I will begin building this with rice. I'll put the rice in the middle again. The next thing we do, we open the miso soup little cube. I want to see one day if they're going to taste the same. And the last but not least, the main ingredient is our braised pork. That's the braised pork inside of the bag. This box has been built. These are all the ingredients inside. We have our rice, we have our braised pork, and we have our little miso soup cube. I'll fill it up with the water and set it to cook. There goes the rice water. Next, I added the water to the little miso soup cube. And now we're opening our self-heating bag. Now that the self-heating bag is inside, we are pouring water over it. And it is heating, as you can hear, and the steam is coming out. Very carefully, we're placing this box inside and covering it with the lid and leaving it covered for 15 minutes. Braised pork, I like pork anything. So this should be good. I hope it is good because if it is bad, I will be deeply disappointed. So far, however, it does look good. The rice looks also as fluffy. The meat looks really good. The meat looks like there is actually more meat in here, but I can see already vegetables in there. First, I'm gonna taste the soup because honestly, I have been liking the soups. The soups are great. Let's begin with our soup. It does taste identical to the previous one. A strong flavor of spring onion, a strong flavor of onion. It does look so much better without the container. And look at it, it kind of fits the lid as well. So there we have our meat. That's supposed to be a braised pork over here. That's our braised pork close up. Looks beautiful. I'm just stirring it and putting it on a rice. A very good rice. Honestly, if I knew what sort of rice it is, I'll probably buy it for myself too when I'm making meals. That's the rice with our pork. It does not taste like pork at all. It just tastes like mushroom hot pot. If you told me this is mushroom hot pot, I would definitely believe it because it just purely tastes like mushrooms. I don't see any meat in here so far. I just had some of the sauce. It would go amazing on a rice. I genuinely don't know how they make it. I genuinely thought I would be disappointed with this, but I am simply not. How is it so good? I have no clue. All of this is just so flavorful. This one is not spicy compared to the previous one. The previous one was spicy. This one is not, however. Also, the reason why my spoon keeps going back and forth because I'm actually eating it. I'm actually enjoying this. I would definitely buy this again. Same as the previous one. I am enjoying this a lot. It is genuinely just very hard to stop eating this. Only one of these boxes was looking a bit odd. Instead of just having a rice pile over here and some vegetables over here, it kind of has a bowl of rice and on top of it, there's a mix of different meats and vegetables. And this flavor is self-heating hot pot shredded meat rice. Also, this miso soup does look red, so I wonder if that's a spicy one or maybe it could be even tomato. The inside build does look very similar. All the bags are looking identical. What I noticed so far, the things inside of the bags are different. However, I do expect this one will be different. I'm gonna start building this hot pot by adding meat into it. This one's supposed to be shredded meat. That does not specify what sort of meat. Might be the same, might be different, but you already can see it looks more like curry rather than uh, what the previous ones looked like. Here goes the meat. Yeah, it does look like the vegetables are curry or like gravy. Something is on top of the vegetables. Previous this one did come with the sauce, but this one does come with a heavy amount of liquid. And honestly, from here, it does smell very nice. I can very strongly smell peas already. Our meats are in. I'm gonna put uh, rice in next. Rice I'll put in the middle container again. And a little bag of miso soup. When I drop it out, it does not look any different. It just looks like I might have a little bit of carrot inside. And covering our rice with the rice water. This is what it looks like when everything is filled. I'll put this away and put the heating bag in. We're covering the heating bag with this water. And I'll wait for a couple of minutes until the bag puffs up. There goes our box. And we're covering it with the lid and putting it away for 15 minutes. That's supposed to be our shredded mystery meat. I have no clue what meat it is. It just says shredded meat. The miso soup you already can see does look much better. This has way more liquid and it had peas as well. And it did look like a curry. When I was pouring this, I was saying that this looks like curry. I stand by my words. So far, it still continues to look like curry. But these look like real pieces of meat. I don't know what they are. It doesn't state what they are, but I want to try this really badly. This tastes like something between pork and seafood. This definitely feels like you have an aikari. I think it has to go over the rice. Without the rice, it will just taste weird and different. And you can see little shredded carrots too. This is our meal on top of the rice. It is a little bit spicy and a little bit sour. It is very nice overall, but in a comparison to the previous ones, you really cannot eat this without the rice. Previous ones, you could just eat it with a spoon, but this you have to eat on the rice. Otherwise, this just feels too overwhelming. I cannot tell what the flavor is, but it does taste like some meaty curry. You can't really tell what curry it is. But also, 
Also, this soup looks good. The soup has a bit of egg in here that you can tell. A bit of greens, some leaves. I will try a bit of a soup with an egg in it. This is our soup close-up. This soup tastes different. It has less salt in it and it tastes less green. That's our soup, our rice, and our curry. Meaty seafood-ish flavor. It's overwhelming without the rice. But overall, very nice. The last hot pot for today is yellow chicken rice. This looks amazing. And it also comes with a little miso soup, vegetables, meat, and rice. All these hot pots so far looked amazing. Honestly, the quality of them does look good for sure. It's time to unpack another hot pot. Same ingredients. The way it looks is identical. Same bags are inside. And it does come also with a little spoon for my little soup. These are all the packs that this box comes with. I'm gonna begin building this with our little miso soup. Coming out of straight out of the pack, it does look different because it has like a little cube mushroom looking something. I'm not really sure if it's gonna taste like mushrooms, but it does look like there might be some little mushrooms indented inside. Next, this pack is very dense, unlike the previous ones. This one is excessively dense so it's filled with meat all the way to the top. This was supposed to be yellow chicken. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of the stuff inside. It's chicken and vegetables. There they go. You can already see that there is significantly less liquid in the comparison to the previous pack. And the last goes in rice. Let's quickly fill this up with our rice water. Let's put this in and put the water on top. It is starting to bubble before it starts boiling. I will quickly put the container in. And this is our last rice covering it with the lid and letting it cook itself. The yellow chicken hot pot is now ready. This soup looks good. The soup looks the most filled in a comparison to the other soups. It does look like a picture, actually. The meat does look like there is the most meat in here, but honestly, based on the previous experience, I doubt there is any chicken in it. Less sauce. Soup looks the best, however. I want to try if that is a mushroom. That is definitely a mushroom. I already can see that. The soup looks great. Okay, it actually tastes like seafood. I don't know why it doesn't taste like mushroom, but this is very egg filled you can see every single spoonful that i lift have an egg on it soup close up this is our rice and this is our meat it looks like it might be spicy because the sauce in here is red but this is supposed to be our yellow chicken Tastes very earthy, very mushroomy, but this time I did get a little piece of chicken in it. And I think this one might be tasting the meatiest out of all. This one does taste like you're eating meat. You're eating meat with your rice, you're eating meat with your soup. Very rich, very brothy, super good flavor of this specific dish. If I wouldn't like mushrooms, I don't think I would like any of these meals because they all seem to have a lot of mushrooms, except for the one that had the curry looking meal. You can taste mushrooms, you can feel mushrooms. So if you don't like the texture of mushrooms, you might not necessarily like it. This specific meal does taste like it would fill you up for sure if you have it all. The meals themselves are not disappointing at all. The quality is amazing. I have decided I will put all of them together so you could see and compare. This is our diced chicken, braised pork, the yellow chicken, and the shredded meat. The one that I did not like, to be honest, was the curry one. It was not as good. Despite the fact that it had more sauce, I feel like they chipped out on meats that way. As you can see, there's the least meat. But these, however, had a lot of meat in them and were very flavorful. But you can see by the soup, the difference is already there. You can see by the meats the difference is there. My most favorite one, yeah, it is yellow chicken. Overall, this company, this brand did the best job they possibly could have at achieving successful hot pots. These were amazing. I cannot say anything bad about these hot pots. They just absolutely good. Even the one that was not so nice, that I did not like as much for myself, I still did enjoy. Thank you very much, guys, for watching my videos. I do appreciate you coming by to support me. Please give this video a like and comment if you can, because this does help me a lot with the growth. And I will hopefully see you in the next video for more amazing items like this.